What's up guys, this is Eric from Beatside. Today we have installed our plug and play CarPlay Android Auto Retrofit to this Toyota Tundra. And this is our new upgraded kit. So I wanna just go ahead and show you how everything works and do a quick demonstration. This is a factory screen. And right now my phone is already connected to the Toyota radio. And let me go ahead and show you how to do the first connection. So once again, as a reminder, make sure your phone is connected to the car's Bluetooth. If it isn't, then the audio will come out of your phone speakers instead of your car speakers. So make sure it's connected to the car's Bluetooth. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and press and hold the hang up button on the steering wheel, which will switch over the screen. You'll get this three icon screen. It'll say Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and Settings. And then we're gonna go to your phone. This is the screen that you see when nothing is connected. All right, so here's our phone. We'll go to Settings. And then in our Settings, we are gonna go to General, CarPlay, and we're gonna go ahead and connect to the CarPlay. You'll see NV17W and some letters and numbers. And we're gonna go ahead and pair, allow. And we're gonna give it a few seconds and it's gonna show up on the car screen. All right, there it is. This is how it looks. Um, your touchscreen works, your swipe action works play some music okay there's our music if you want to summon Siri you can press and hold here what's the weather okay volumes kind of low so how to adjust the volume go to your phone make sure your sound and haptics is turned on so go to settings go to sound and haptics and change with buttons make sure that's turned on press and hold this um, power button here to summon Siri from the phone and then we could raise the volume, okay? What's the weather? It's currently cloudy and- And one other thing to notice, because the screen is old and the screen resolution is just based on the factory system, the image might not look that sharp. So some things you could try to make it look a little bit sharper is like on Google Maps, put it to night mode, then the streets and the signs and the names will come out much more clear. So let me go ahead and just show you how this looks. Head east toward Beach Boulevard. Okay. And then even on your Apple Maps, um, if you put it to night mode, it'll come out more sharp because if you leave it daytime mode, it will look a little bit washed out. Although you can still see the streets and all the streets names, it might look a little bit more clear if you put it to night mode as well. And Waze actually comes out the sharpest looking. Let's take Commonwealth Avenue right. Buena Park in 300 feet. And then another setting that you could change on the factory radio is the backup camera image setting. So let me go ahead and press and hold the hang up button to go back to the factory screen. Go to settings, go to display and go to camera. And went ahead and raise the brightness to max and we lower the contrast by one notch from the middle. And that will give you a sharper image as well. Even if you do this, your backup camera image will still look okay. Whenever you make a phone call, the phone call will route to the car's Bluetooth as well. Okay, by looking at the phone, you could go ahead and see that it was routed to the Toyota Tundra Bluetooth. And if someone calls you, you could pick up using a steering wheel control. Okay, and then you could hang up as well. All right, so that's how everything works on the CarPlay side. Let me go ahead and disconnect my CarPlay. And let me show you how the Android Auto will work. Let's go ahead and connect our Android phone. So first we're gonna go ahead and make sure the phone is connected to the car's Bluetooth. Okay, here's Tundra. All right, and now that it's connected, we're gonna press and hold the hang up button, switch over the screen. And well, once we're here, let's go ahead and connect to the wireless Android Auto. And while we're doing all our wireless connection, if you want to use a wired connection, you can go ahead and connect it here. We installed the optional USB adapter on this vehicle. So if you don't want to do wireless, you could just connect it from here. All right, so here it is. This is how Android Auto looks. So the controls are going to be the same. Cog button, 
What's the weather? All right, so we have our Google Assistant. You can also press this button here. What's the weather? Okay, phone call. There it is. And then let me go ahead and try making a phone call from my other phone. Pick up. All right, guys, well, that concludes our quick demonstration of our new upgraded kit for this Toyota Tundra. It's also compatible with other Toyota models. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or you can email us at info at beatsonicusa.com. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. And if you haven't yet, help us by subscribing and liking our video. Thank you very much.